of attacks. Bishop Andrew Nkia is the Bishop of Mamfe, the area where these killings are taking place. I went to Kembong myself to meet the Christians there who were with Father in the mission at the time he was shot. They explained to me that there was a military vehicle that was uh, coming into the village, and as they were driving into the village, they were shooting. Father tried to escape around the church, but when he was at the door of the church, the bullet got him. He fell there. The other Christians who managed to run away to the back of the church, there was a seminarian who was also there. They ran into the father's house, some ran into other places. But like yesterday, I was there, I counted myself 21 bullet holes on the front of the church. So were the soldiers actually shooting into the church? Yes, they were actually shooting into the church. If you go to the place like I did yesterday, you actually see some of the bullets that passed through the window and cracked the wall next to the altar. So what was happening inside the church? Were people sheltering there? What was going on? No, no, there was nothing going on in the church. It was around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There were just a few Christians with the catechists who were cleaning the church. Father was standing in front of the church, and when they were passing, it looks like when they're entering the village, they're trying to scare people or what, I don't know. But as they were driving into the village, they were shooting at random, because after the mission, they continued shooting as they were going on to their barracks. The shooting did not stop at the church. They continued shooting. There was another man who also was shot, and he died. It's quite shocking that they would be shooting into a church or at a church. Has this happened before? It has happened in other places. The, the seminarian who died in Bamenda was shot in front of the church. So has there been any official reaction to this? Is anybody going to be charged with the killing of Father Cosmas and the other person that died as well? Just that you who are talking from a distance, we are seeing deaths every day. Nobody is being charged. We will make some noise about this, but in the end, what will come out of it? So tell us about Father Cosmas and the community there. Yes, uh, Father Cosmas was a young priest ordained last year, 2017. He is from Kenya, from the Diocese of Kisi. He is a missionary of St. Joseph. And Cosmas was one of the young Mihil missionaries who came out to this country. He was ordained on the 26th of uh, March. In April, he was appointed to Mamfe. He's literally just come and he's just starting out his life as a priest amongst the people of Mamfe. He's just starting his life as a priest in the diocese. This must be very demoralizing for people there. Very demoralizing, not only for the people, but also for the young priests that have around. Because as we are speaking, I have closed down 15 parishes. I'm not joking. I've closed down 15 parishes because of the insecurity. All the people have abandoned, they have run away. So it's a very difficult situation for all of us and for the people who are gathered around Father Cosmas. Actually, Father Cosmas is working with Father Vuni, who is the parish priest. Father Vuni is a Ugandan missionary also. They're, both of them are Mihil, but Vuni is on leave. So Cosmas was alone in the parish at this time running the place. So is somebody going to come and replace him? Or are people beginning to get nervous now about conducting mass and living in these areas where <laughs> these random shootings are happening? I cannot send anybody to go there now. That will not be fair to the person because most of the persons were telling me, oh, Bishop, you begged us to come out of the bush and now they are shooting at us. We are going back to the bush. So I'm stranded. But now if the priest himself who was guarding the people is killed, then they all scatter again. Is the church being targeted, do you think? I wouldn't know. But the priest was killed in Buya. Seminarian was killed in Bamenda. Now another one has been killed here in Mamfe. The other time, one of my priests was arrested in front of the church and stripped by the same military. I want to know what they want. The information minister, Isa Chiroma, has tweeted saying that it's not the soldiers that did this. He does not live in Mamfe. I live in Mamfe. This did not happen in the night. It happened during the day. We are not arguing over truth. I just beg Mr. Minister to verify what he is saying before he goes on the air. Because it is very disheartening that we are Cameroonians. We are suffering and our minister will be talking about something he does not know. I am on the ground. I live here. Minister does not live in Mamfe. He doesn't even know where Kembong is. Do you feel safe where you are? How can I feel safe? I don't sleep in the night. When I sleep in the night, at the bang of every door, I jump up from my bed and go under because I don't know who is coming or what is happening. Nobody feels safe. If I'm the bishop and I feel like this, how much more of the common people? But I cannot abandon the, the simple, innocent people who are just living their lives in their villages. I have to be with them. They are Cameroonians who love their country. They just want to live in peace, but they are not safe. That's Bishop Andrew Nkia, Bishop of Mamfe. A new video is being circulated.
tax.